Hello and welcome to the Dress My Craft YouTube channel. I'm Uchwal and today I'm sharing a tutorial for these very pretty cascading cards. These are really simple to make and they look absolutely stunning. So let's get started. I will be using uh, the beautiful dream collection paper pack called Shabby Blues. Um, it has the softest, most beautiful colors and very subtle patterns. And um, I was really torn between these two, but then decided to go with the uh, plain uh, pattern so that my embellishments can shine through. And I'm using the Dress My Craft trimmer here, and I'm going to uh, first use the scorer. So this trimmer can do both scoring as well as cutting. Um, the orange tab is the cutter, while the white tab uh, that I'm moving right now um, scores along the line so i'm scoring this 12 by 12 paper at 4 inches and 8 inches so that i have three sections of 4 inches each and then i'm going to just uh cut this sheet as an at an angle um here i'm cutting um i'm just eyeballing it but you can measure at half or and cut it uh, so you can see that I have two sheets one is slightly bigger and the other one is slightly smaller I did not plan it that way but uh, it did turn out in my favor at the end so now I'm going to do the same thing with my other sheet but this time I'm using going to use the first cutout as my template and I'm going to mark um, where the cut line is so that I have um, the same size pieces from both the sheets and again I'm going to do the same thing uh, I'm going to score this sheet as well at Four inch each so that I have three sections of four inches and then uh, I'm going to cut it at an angle uh, just like I did the first one so I have now four pieces of these um, cut paper all right so I am just uh, reinforcing the scoring lines there so that the paper can fold easily these papers are thick so um, you it's it's a good idea to use a scoring tool uh, to kind of press and uh, make the creases really neat and nice and crisp and now you can see I, I have that cascading shape coming along next I'm going to use this beautiful hard doily um, punch and punch it along the edge you can see the design is really beautiful and it adds uh, that decorative touch to the card so i'm going to just uh, punch along the entire edge the one that has the angle and i'm going to do that on all of the four pieces so all you have to do is just align your design on the punch and then just um, keep punching along the line Dress My Craft has a really wide range of punches and they're all really, really good. So uh, if you're looking for punches, I'd highly recommend you check out the range that's available at Dress My Craft. So you can see how nice and beautiful that edge looks now. And I uh, went on and did the same thing for all of my four pieces. And now I have this beautiful edge. So when I said that the uneven cut actually worked out in my favor, um, I was talking about this. So now I have this little, little white border showing up because one paper was uh, bigger than the other. And I really like it. So I'm just going to glue down um, the sheets together now. Uh, so that I have the pattern paper on both the sides um, and then we are going to use our bone folder to just really push the creases through and make them crisp and easier to fold and make sure you have glue along these score lines so that those sections stick really well and then just use a bone folder and push the creases through fold them push them and this will just train the paper to fold at the appropriate place and without any fuss so this is how the basic card is looking like i have some excess on one side which i'm going to just trim and make it all um, clean and we can do the same with the other so i have two card bases ready now this was so simple to do and now we are going to go ahead and 
uh, prepare our embellishments and a little band to keep the cards closed. So I have this beautiful transfer me sheet called Roses 2 and uh, I will be using an iris paper 160 GSM and I'm going to transfer this entire sheet um, onto the 160 GSM iris paper. So all you have to do is lay down the paper on your transfer sheet. Don't forget to remove the backing paper protective layer on the transforming sheet and then just stick your page on it spritz it with water you can use a sponge but i just couldn't find it at that time so i'm just using a spray bottle and i'm spritzing spritzing some water and you can actually see that the water has gone through on the sheet so if you have places where it hasn't uh, you can use a water brush to just quickly add some water and wait a few seconds and then just uh, remove this packing sheet and you will see that all of your design has transferred to the cardstock and it is really really pretty so so simple to do and now you have all you have to do is cut these out and you have your beautiful embellishments ready um, to decorate your card so I went ahead and fuzzy cut out all of the flowers and leaves and now I am going to add a little band to uh, keep the cards closed and uh, what I did was I just took another sheet uh, from the same uh, paper pack and we are going to cut out two strips of paper. Um, I'm, you, I'm doing one and a half inch height and uh, 12 inches width and now I can just wrap it around the card to make a belly band. So I'm not going to use scoreboard here because I want the belly band to be easily to easily be moved. Um, and so we are going to keep it slightly on the loose side and not too tight so i'm not using a scoreboard i'm just going to fold it around the card so i know that it will uh, move easily and come off easily from the card when i want to open the card so now we're going to just stick this band together uh, this is a great way to embellish your cards um, and these cascading cards are great in, in themselves but you can also add these to your scrapbooks and I think it will be a great interactive element to add. So as you can see I have these two bands ready now and um, I'm just kind of collecting all the embellishments that I want to use. So I have some pastel blue thread pollens, I have some water droplets, I have a um, little bit of sparkling dust and I also took out some uh, sequins which I did not uh, use at the end. And I also decided to use this very pretty uh, silver mirror sheet. So I'm cutting very thin strips, 2 mm strips of this silver mirror cardstock. Um, it will just add that final finishing touch to our belly bands. So very thin strips. I'm using the paper trimmer and paper trimmer really makes it easy to just align and cut these tiny uh, thin strips. And now what we are going to do is we're going to just wrap this around our uh, the card bands that we made. So I'm going to add one to the top edge and then another one to the bottom edge as well. So two uh, little strips of silver mirror cardstock on the edges of these bands. And it really adds that beautiful finishing touch um, to the cards. So now our bands are ready and I'm going to put them back on the card so I know how the embellishments will look overall. And we are going to use a hot glue gun and um, start adding our embellishments.
so once I was happy with uh, the placement of the flowers I decided to add some glitter and made them make them even prettier so I, I'm using glossy accents and I just um, traced uh, in the flowers and the leaves with a thin line of glossy accents just randomly um, along the petals and I sprinkled the sparkling dust onto the glossy accents and um, I'm using this beautiful large funnel day. This was on my wish list for a long time. It just keeps your surface so clean and neat. Um, all you have to do is just keep it when you are using your sequins or your glitter and it just holds everything inside the tray and you can quickly back it, put it back together in your jars. And there you have it. I just added a few of those water droplets and that really added the finishing touch. And these cards look so beautiful um, and I loved making them. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, I will see you again next time. Don't forget to uh, leave your comments and like this video. And yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye.